Thursday, 23rd of May, 2019. Welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily reading. And these are the Connolly. Are they just the Connolly Tarot? I think so. I don't know what I did with the box now. Oh, well, these are my Connolly Tarot, the ones that have been cut with very sharp edges. Ooh, okay. That's nice. That one's got round edges. Look at that. Ace of Cups. When she cut this one, she must have been feeling a bit simpatico. Do you know what I mean? It'd be like, mm, Ace of Cups. Give that a round edge. Yeah, that would be like having a tarot deck that was shaped to the card. Mm. Ooh. Oh my God. Shall we just stop there? <laughs> Let's just stop there. Ten of Cups. Those of you that watch me daily will know that that doesn't happen often. That doesn't happen often. Okay. This is nice. Nice reading. Oh, lovely. <clears throat> Very nice. Oh, ow. That one hurt. Those edges are sharp. 90 degrees. That one. Itchy nose. Okay. Not too bad. So we are lucky enough today to run the gauntlet <coughs> of the Ace of Cups through to the Ten, which is magnificent energy i mean it goes minor arcana from the one to the ten and back again in a lovely cycle they're both in the upright let's conduct okay it's a love thing <laughs> almost turning into the carlton there isn't it as most of my dances do i know okay so that's a lovely energy not to be sniffed at remotely not to be booted out of bed for eating crisps. And then here, the three of wands, which is the energy of kind of waiting for ships to come in. Some of you have been waiting for a connection for a long time. This is a love connection. It could be with family. It could be with, you know, lover, lover. Uh, reconnecting with a friend, you know, love is love. And at least in the English language, it covers a lot of bases, doesn't it? So you will know how that resonates for you. For some of you, this has been a very kind of push and pull type situation. We have the chariot in reverse in the middle, which is the Cancerian card. It's also the card of riding two horses with one ass, as we know. But for me, it's also the card of very ping pong. Always reminds me of when I used to play What's that, Gemma? Pinball. <laughs> Pinball in a cafe, which I used to quite be quite good at. Um, <laughs> there I am, I'm back there. Cha-ching. Um, you know how sometimes when it used to go, how old am I? I mean, this is really showing my age. When it used to go up the top and then there were those round things and it would go, king, 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 ching, 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 like that. Yeah, can't do that again. Um, that's what the feelings have been like for this. They've been doing that pinball thing where they go ka ching a ching a ching piddling ping. Chariot energy. Also with the Scorpio moon that was the full moon and was a bit volatile. There's a moon energy because the chariot is Cancerian and it's ruled by the moon. Yeah, I want a Brian and Wendy Freed to clarify it as well. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's lovely energy. That is ships coming in energy. Queen of the Golden Bow. Number one. Feminine energy. It's like delivering a blessing. It's a lovely card not to be sniffed at either. This is great. Okay, now. Slight fly in the ointment, but not really. Eight of Swords, 
there's been some kind of mental block about this connection and you may have doubted it as well because there's been some really difficult readings But we also have the Six of Swords in reverse, and that is not being able to escape something. So in other words, you haven't severed this connection, and you may have wanted to with the pinball ka-ching, ka-ching, ching thing. That's that whole, oh my God, I can't do this anymore. I'm going to have to just knock it on the head to, there's something here, my intuition tells me it's worth holding on to this, mm -mm -mm -mm, that kind of energy. So you haven't um, done the big escape in, in the boat with the Six of Swords, okay? But you have been somewhat preoccupied with it. Then we get this rather lovely card, which is the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is some kind of generosity coming in. I, it may be this person delivering an Ace of Cups, which can be a message, it can be a love gesture. It can be a gift with the Six of Pentacles of jewellery or anything that's just a gifty. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, as they say. Ooh, animal spirit cards. <laughs> Stingray. <laughs> Stingray is about the chakra spine. If you look in this. It has all of the chakras here and it creates a spine. What's happened in this particular scenario is that either both of you, whether it's you, a friend, a situation, whatever it is, but certainly you, while you have been absent from this situation, have grown your spine. Now, I like the stingray here because it shows backbone but it does it through chakras which is a very internal way of doing it sometimes we fake it till we make it and we're angry and we're spiky and our external spine is on the it's on the outside you know it's that kind of i'm not taking this but everybody knows when you feel like that only that and you're in tears you know whereas when you've got this sort of chakra it goes from the root right up and it means that you've been inspired it means that you have built it and you've built it within and so by the time this ace of cups and ten of cups energy comes some kind of emotional gift that you've longed for or wanted you kind of you know it's a bit like the th you'd been filling that thermometer and it made a spine that's mixing metaphors in the most awful way but there you are let's have a Belinda grace card too these are so big these cards they're gorgeous, but they're big. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. This is the goddess, which is a bit like the empress, the cornucopia, abundance, Venus. Nice. The fruit is ripe, my friends. The fruit is ripe. I do want one of these, actually. Wisdom of the Oracle. Colette Baron Reed. Oh yes, this is lush. We love this reading. Milk and honey, and a little elephant playing in a in a thing of buttermilk. Milk and honey is the whole. Yes, there is something at the end of this rainbow vibe. Okay, it's a little reassurance. It's a little nudge, and also, God, you remember those milk bottles. I know, recyclable milk bottles delivered by the milkman. Mm -mm. Okay. It's funny because now where we're at with all the recycling thing, that was probably the most, because the, the milk flow. I don't know if you had this in America. I think maybe you do in other countries. Let me know, actually, in the comments section. So we had the milkman who had an electric float and used to go around on this float delivering milk and then collecting the empty bottles. Which, of course, recycled glass and all of that, it was extremely environmentally friendly. Divine timing. Divine timing. Yeah, we've had this card loads recently. This is a really good reading, okay? I can't spoil it even if I want to, and I don't want to. So I'm not going to go any further with it because it's lush. Okay, so leave me a comment. Do subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon.
Namaste.